Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a Hino Numa map review. This review is based on my opinions, what I feel of the map. I'll be going through every single stage of the map. Give your ratings below. These videos do take a tiny bit longer than the average video, so ratings would be highly appreciated. Thank you. So let's begin with the first room. Unlike Nact, it has the classic four windows and it has Mule Kick in that room as an addition. Both doors cost 1000 and they both pretty much lead to the same place. It's just more if you're thinking do you want them to come from a certain area because I believe there's a tactic where you've got to keep that door closed and you're able to spawn abuse and that if you so wish. But overall the first room is alright, it's got the car 98 and the M1 carbine. So you go to either door, you go down the steps and you either see the Thompson and you've got the box room. I believe there's also a French gun on the wall but don't count me on that. But overall it's just a nice door to go to, the box location does move but it spawns in that same location every time. And then you've got four directions to take. The first location we're going to be looking at is the fishing pond. And there's no specific perk as the perks are random. But in the fishing pond you've got to open one more door to reach the MV40. And that's all I can really say about that room. There's not much to it, it's got an alright area to train, you've got the flogger trap which is used to get to high rounds mainly, but that's that's it I guess, just nothing else, let's move on to the next room. Next I'm going to talk about the comms room, and same again, perks random, obviously once the perk has gone down it randomises between the perks that are available dot dot dot. <clears throat> but yeah, the only weapon that's in here is the SCG, but out of all the areas, people usually like the comm rooms the best, to be honest, so all I can say. The next room I'm going to talk about is the storage room. And again, none of these areas have anything specific. I would say storage is pretty hard to run around in, but all there is is in the room the Type 100 weapon and I'm sorry to say but that's all I can really say about this room. The perk again is random, mule kick remains where it is every single time but the four perks are random so that's all I can say. The next area I want to talk about is the final area which is the doctor's quarters and again perks random you can do them any sequence you want, you don't have to do it the order that I've done on screen. But yeah, this one has the bar in it and it also has um, the lift or gondola or however you want to call it that brings you back up to the first room. So yeah, that's all I can really say about this area again. So now on to the review part of the video and I'll go through them quickly. So mobility, getting around the map. I gave this a 71 as if my rule of how big a map should be if you're in one corner of the map and another player's in the other corner and one player is down you should be able to get him and revive him but i feel you may be able to do it but it'll be very tough so i gave it a low score spawns i wouldn't say they're particularly fast as they spawn when you're in an the area they spawn like in the middle so i gave that a 72 perks on pap it's pretty basic, so I gave that a 76. It's not bad, but it isn't great. Flow of the map, you don't have to really do much like buildable, so I gave it a solid 80. Weapons and traps, it's got the Wonder Waff, which makes it better than Verrucked. Um, and it's got a few awesome traps like the Flogger, so I gave it a decent score of 85. High rounds, I gave it an 80 as it's actually quite a hard map to do high rounds on as you've only got the one realistic trap to which you can do to do high rounds. So I gave it a normal score of 80 because you can, but it's very difficult. But speaking of difficulty, difficulty I gave it at 83 as it's not one of the hardest maps in my opinion with Jug just because... I don't know, they spawn from a lot of areas I guess, so I would say it's quite a difficult map. And then first room, it's quite a basic first room, it's the classic. So I gave that a solid score of 80, but I gave it an overall score of 75. As it isn't bad, but I don't feel it's good as napped over it in my opinion. But of course, put your opinions below on what you think the map should be scored. And it's been Woody Mark, and I'm out. See you guys.